welcome to all of you. Uh, now, this this drive that we are schedule, scheduling for all the freshers, this is for a role which we call as an associate software engineer. So in, in the entire course of uh, our presentation, whatever details we will be giving it out will be for this role specifically. And we generally use a name by the name ASC, the short form of associate software engineer. So in the coming presentation, I will be using the term ASC to basically put forward this name associate software engineer. Now this entire presentation is about the role that we are offering as ASC. What is the compensation? What are the eligibility? What kind of growth you will find? How? What are the timelines for the assessment? And about your joinings and your queries. Moving forward, now coming to the eligibility guidelines. So as it would be visible to all of you, the eligibility guidelines is for all the candidates who are coming from an engineering background. For example, if you are a graduate in B, B Tech, or you are a postgraduate in uh, M Tech or ME, all the streams, all the branches of B Tech, all the branches of M Tech are eligible to appear. MCAs are also eligible to appear here. I'm repeating all the branches of B Tech, all the branches of M Tech, and all and MCA. Along with that, MSc candidates are also eligible to apply, but in MSc, there are only two limited branches which are eligible, which are IT and CS. So again, B Tech all branches, M Tech all branches, MCAs, and in MSCs, only two branches are eligible, which are IT and CS. A key point to be noted here is that only two year pass outs we are considering for this drive. People who are from 2020 batch and candidates who are from the 2021 batch graduates. So candidates who have finished their B Tech or M Tech in 2020 or MCA in 2020 or MSC IT in 2020 or candidates who have cleared their or completed their graduation in B Tech or M Tech or MCA or MSC CS and IT branches in 2021 are eligible to apply here. You should have as the second bullet point says you should have graduated in year 2020 or 2021 and have no active backlogs. When it comes to a year gap in education beginning from your 10th till your completion of graduation, you should not have a year gap exceeding one year. Many a times students do have a year gap after they finish 12th and then then they proceed for they do for uh, uh, they have a gap of one year and then they begin their big uh, engineering course that is acceptable. But beyond two years in between 10th to the completion of graduation makes you ineligible. So the gap is up to one year is is fine. So candidates must be eligible to work in India either by citizenship or have the relevant uh, permit documents. All foreign nationals, specifically uh, people who are who are living outside, they must have a work permit visa with us or they must have an overseas citizenship of India card with them. That is an important document for any people who are residing out of India or foreign nationals. But as a basic course, you must be if you are if you are candidates must be eligible to work in India either by citizenship or they must have all the relevant permit documents with them. So I hope the eligibility guidelines are clear to all of you. All all branches of uh, B Tech, all branches of M Tech, MCAs and MSc only in IT and CS branches are eligible to apply for this assessments. Moving forward. Uh, associate software engineer what we are offering in terms of your career in terms of what you may expect from us. You will the the shortlisted candidates who will join us will extensively be undergoing our primers training program before deployment. You will have a 45 days of pre onboarding learning also along with that once you join you will have an extensive period of 12 months of learning program wherein you will be assigned your buddies, you will be assigned your mentors, you will be working on sh as a, on shadow projects and uh, 
you will have an overall learning regarding the technical aspects as well as the behavioral aspects. So we will ensure that and that your grooming happens uh, in a very smooth way and we will ensure that your learnings happens progressively. So you will be taken care of by your mentors and for any kind of uh, queries, you will have your buddies to help you out. So the first 12 months specifically at, at Accenture, it is it is it is prepared to give you a 360 degree learning experience and it will help you to grow virtually in this organization. Also, during your 12 months of intern uh, of your training period, you will have a lot of opportunities to grasp or to train yourself in the emergent technology roles. And once you clear all your uh, 12 months, 12 months of training program, you will be then deployed to life projects. Now coming to your compensation and benefits. The, so for an ASC role, which is associate software engineer, we are offering a CTC of 4.5 lakhs. 4.5 is the overall CTC, which is on offer here. If I if I bifurcate it, it's the fixed pay comes at around three lakh eighty three thousand, and you will have a variable component also including in that, which is of thirty two thousand five hundred, which is depending and the payout depends on your performance, and we will also be giving you a one time joining bonus of twenty five thousand that will be given to you once you complete your joining formalities and you join us successfully. There's an additional benefits also, which is of 9500, which covers your gratuity and insurance premium. But to make it clear, the benefit, the compensation we are offering is of 4.5 lakhs, which is an overall CTC. The fixed pay is 3.8, the variable pay is 32,000, and there is a joining bonus of 25,000 for you. Now comes the important part, the timelines and the assessments. Now the entire timelines of these assessments will be close to around two weeks periods. I'll say tentatively it will be close to around two weeks periods. This today we are start standing at pre hiring connect where we are giving you an insight upon the assessments, what it will be, how it will be and who will be able to participate. So. We are doing the uh, the one on one connect with you. Uh, once this is over, we will be releasing the mock assessments to all the eligible candidates. I'm again repeating for all the eligible candidates. We will be releasing the mock assessment links. This will be happening from today evening onwards. So your assessments, your live assessments are scheduled next week onwards and we have a further slide on it. We'll give you the dates and tentative timelines for, for that also, but just to give you an insight on what the assessments will be like. So your first level of assessment would be your cognitive and technical test. It's a combined test and it, it is an elimination round. So it's a combination of your numerical abilities and it's a combination of your technical skills also. So we call it cognitive and technical. This is your first assessments that happens on day one and tentatively we have multiple slots also for that details. We are coming up in the next slides. I will give you an insight there. So again, cognitive and technical combined is an elimination round. If you clear cognitive and technical, then you will receive your assessments for your coding. Coding again is an elimination round. You have to clear coding assessment to move to the further assessments of day four and day five. So in general, day one to day two are generally covered in giving your cognitive and technical candidates who clear their cognitive and technical. They then move to their coding assessments and candidates who clear their coding assessments, they only move to the communication assessment. So this should be very clear. Cognitive and technical is an is your first assessment, which is an elimination round. Once you clear your cognitive and technical, you move to the coding assessment. Coding assessment is also an elimination round. 
so comes once you clear your day one and day two assessments you then move to your communication assessments so all the candidates who clear their coding assessments will then further receive a communication link for their verbal communication assessment so again as it mentioned they it will take you to around day four or day five only students who clear coding will receive the link for communication assessments communication assessment is a mandatory round but it is a non elimination round i'm again repeating communication assessment is a mandatory round but it is a non eliminator round all the candidates who will have to proceed further mandatorily have to give communication assessment once you submit your communication assessments by day 6 or day 7 you'll receive an invite for your virtual interviews which will generally from the day of beginning will happen by around beginning of the second week so day 7 to day 9 will schedule your virtual interviews entire this entire process from day 1 to all the interviews is happening online there is no face to face rounds there is no invite to the offices everything happens on 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 virtual platform now once you are undergoing your virtual interviews and once you attend your virtual interviews then basis on our short listings we will you will receive and we will release the come notifications to you all requiring for you to submit your required documents will will have a verification of those documents done and based on that we will release you your offer letter so that is the timeline for our assessment events it is beginning today with our open house connect from uh, i believe from tuesday onwards coming 8th onwards we will be beginning our day one assessment of your cognitive and technical followed up followed it up by the coding round people who clear cognitive move to coding people who clear coding moves to communication assessment communication assessment is non eliminating elimination round but it is a mandatory round once you clear communication or i should say once you attend the communication assessment you then move to the virtual interviews and once you attend your virtual interviews we will create a final list of candidates shortlisted and to all the shortlisted candidates they will receive an intimation to submit their documents for verification and we will proceed then with offer release moving forward this is a schedule that we have prepared for for you all for all the eligible candidates so uh, as i mentioned in one of the previous slides we are releasing the mock assessments today onwards so tentatively we will be releasing it by today tomorrow and day after and uh, our request is that the, all the eligible candidates who receive the mock links they are they are requested and they are advised to please undergo the mock link it will help you prepare your system to our needs to our technical requirements and whatever if there are any issues the mock it will let you know that in case your internet speed is slow or any kind of other things required in your system to be upgraded it will let you know so again our our advice is that all the eligible candidates will start receiving mock assessment link from today evening onwards and once you receive this mock assessment link you are requested to appear in the mock assessment it will help you and your system get ready for the live assessments <coughs> i'm sorry so cognitive and technical assessments begin from 9th february onwards tentatively 9th february onwards will you'll start receiving the invite mails from 7th february onwards about your uh, cognitive date your cognitive time and the assessment uh, slots also so uh, as it is mentioned uh, right in the bottom you can see candidates can choose both the date and the time they want to appear the cognitive assessments so uh, we have put it around 4 to 5 dates for you in case you are busy in your regular schedule you can pick a pick and choose a date also you can pick and choose a time slot but this will be filled with first come first serve basis so you can choose or once we'll release the uh, uh, i should say the coding assessment links 
you will have a date to choose you will have a time to choose the dates tentatively are 9th 10th 11th 12th and 13th of february and each day will have three time slots 9 am time slot 2 pm time slot and 7 pm time slots so you will have uh, a leeway to pick uh, and choose a date as per your needs and you'll also have a leeway to pick and choose a time slot in each of these dates whichever date you would like to appear you can pick 9th you can pick 10th you can pick 11th 12th or 13th and you can pick any one of the time slots in each in either of these dates but it will be filled on first come first serve basis so you all are requested so whenever you receive a communication from our side for your cognitive time slots pick as soon as possible so once uh, once we you finish your cognitive you clear your cognitive you move to coding you clear your coding once this part is finished then we will be releasing the communication assessments from 10th February onwards. You will receive a link on 10th, 11th or 12th on your communication assessment links and you need to finish it off by before 15th of February and we will be then beginning and scheduling your virtual interviews from 16th, 17th February onwards. So interviews will try to close in around two days of time. So for interviews also you you have an option of picking a time slot but uh, we will try to finish interviews in two days of time in 17th and 18th of february so by around 16th feb we will be releasing the uh, the link and we'll releasing the intimation to all of you who have completed their communication round and they will receive information on when and where their interviews are getting scheduled so we what our focus is that by 24th of february we will try 24th is thursday by around thursday 24th of february we are hopeful that we will release the uh, shortlisting list to the candidates and then uh, subsequently in the next two three days we will be requesting the candidates to submit the, re the required documents the onboarding we are uh, we have finalized the date of onboarding as 24th of March. This for this assessment that we are planning from 4th uh, or 9th February onwards. 4th is we are starting mock assessments from uh, day one of live assessment is 9th of February. So from 9th uh, assessment, we are planning a onboarding of 20 on 24th of March. So provided uh, you have you submit all the required documents on time we will be able to release the offer and then do all the verification and onboard you by 24th of march so 24th of march can be only be possible if you submit all the required documents the verification and then we will be onboarded so as i mentioned earlier you have then you have a leeway of choosing a date and time for your cognitive and technical assessments. Moving forward, documents to be submitted. So as you prepare to appear for the assessments, please ensure that the below academic documents are in place with you so that that will help us and help you also to expedite the offer release if you are shortlisted. So all the semester mark sheets, all the digital copy of all semester mark sheets, either you are a graduate student or you are, for example if you are a btec student or if you are a mtech or an mca or msc students so you need to have your mark sheets ready with you uh, in case you have an online results so you need to you you must ensure that you upload online results which is duly attested by your college authorities your academic uh, deans must assess attest your uh, online results if it is declared online and if you are having a digital copy of your PDC, which is provisional degree certificate, it would be required. If you have a hard copy, it is fine. But in case you have a digital copy, it should be also be a tested copy. So these documents would be required if if we if we need to get onboarded by 24th of March. All these documents are to be timely submitted to us for verification and then for your onboarding. 
Now coming to the assessment part. What these assessments would be and how what are the time time frame for each of these assessments and how it will go forward? So as I mentioned, cognitive and technical uh, cognitive and technical combined is an assessment of 90 minutes. As I mentioned in the previous slides, it is an elimination round. You have to clear it within the cognitive part. You will have assessments based on your uh, English ability, on your analytical skills, on your numerical ability. For your technical assessments part, it will be about your knowledge on your MS Office, Excel Word, understanding of fundamentals of network, fundamentals of security and your uh, subject knowledge on cloud, your understanding on serial codes. So all this will be tested in your technical assessments. So combined cognitive and technical is one assessment. It is a combined time frame of 90 minutes and it will be an elimination round. Candidates who will clear the cognitive and technical CNT combined will then receive a uh, assessment link for coding. Coding can be done in either of these five languages which are listed below C, C++, .NET, Java or Python. And the coding uh, round will have a time frame of around 45 minutes. So again, the first assessment is cognitive and technical. It's an elimination round. English ability, numerical, analytical is part of cognitive. Application knowledge on MS Office, studio codes, networking, cloud security knowledge will be tested in your technical assessments. It is a combined round C cognitive plus technical 90 minutes is the time frame. If you're clear, you will receive a link for your coding assessment, which is again an elimination round for a period of 45 minutes. Once you clear coding rounds in next two, three days, you will link, you will receive an information or a link to appear in your communication assessment. Communication assessment is a non-technical round. It will test your sentence mastery. It will test your comprehension. It will test your vocabulary, your fluency, your understanding, your speaking and your pronunciation skills. So, but it should be very clear communication round is a mandatory round, but it is a non-elimination round. If you will not appear for a communication round, you will not be invited to the interviews. So to be invited, if you have cleared coding and you wish to get invited for uh, the final interviews, then you must submit communication assessment within it time frames. Moving forward. Now, as I mentioned that we will release a mock assessment link right in the beginning from today onwards, we will start releasing to all the eligible candidates. This will help us in setting up some basic technical uh, requirements in your, in, in, your, in your laptops, but these are the broad based requirements that you should have on your desktop or your laptop. Basically, a minimum RAM and processor of 4 GB RAM and uh, 2.2 gigahertz or processor or equivalent which is higher with you. Uh, again, it is requested that you use a Google Chrome browser and an operating system of Windows 8 or 10 or plus. But it is highly advised. It is our our system. Our assessments will not will not run on Mac iOS or iOS what we call. So if you are having an Apple system, this assessments will not run on that process on that iOS. So you are requested that to use a Windows 8 or a Windows 10 or maybe a Windows higher version, but please do not use a Mac system on it. It will not be applicable there. So please use a Windows operating system. Uh, at least with a with a uh, RAM of 4 GB and an i3 5th generation processor. In, in terms of internet connectivity, uh, it is highly advisable that you use a broadband connection. Avoid using mobile hotspots for giving the assessments because mobile uh, network bandwidth uh, may vary based on, on the network which is available at that moment of time. So it is highly advisable for you all that if you are appearing for our cognitive or coding or any other level of, of or even interviews also, it is highly advisable that you use a broadband connection. 
with at least two Mbps of speed. Uh, in terms of headset, it is mandatory that you use a USB enabled headset with a microphone. It, this would be very, very helpful for you. So it is highly recommended to use a USB enabled headset and your microphone should be working. A link will be shared for all of you to install, download and install the SIF exam browser on your system SCB. And do note it is compatible with Windows OS only. So that's why we, we advise and we suggest use only Windows operating system. Uh, moving forward. This is a very important uh, note that we give out to all our uh, candidates who are appearing and to the outside world. We Accenture as a part of organization has not authorized any agency, company or individual to either collect money or arrive on any monetary arrangement in exchange for a job at Accenture. If uh, any person or a third party comes and reaches out to you that in exchange of any kind of money or monetary benefits, they can get you an offer from Accenture. Please do not fall in such traps. We do not, we have not, and we do not have authorized or engaged in any such practices where we allow a third party to go and do uh, uh, recruitments on our behalf. We are only doing on our own and we have not
we have not authorized any any third party, any agency or company to drive our recruitments on our behalf. Any agency, company or individual offering employment with Exchanger in exchange for money is a misrepresentation of their relationship with Accenture and which has not been authorized. So if you are approached by any entity or individuals who demand money or any form of compensation, you can drop in the information on the link which is mentioned here. Yes, so this brings to an end of this presentation, which is all about about the role that we are offering right now, which is an associate software engineer with a CTC breakup of uh, four, offer of 4.5. Uh, so now please, uh, you have an option of uh, asking us queries. There's a chat box option. Please push in your queries to us and we'll try to answer the maximum possible questions. Thank you so much. So to begin with, uh, guys, there is a query coming on percentage criteria. For example, uh, we do not have a percentage criteria this time. If anyone is having, for example, someone might be having a query that I am having less than 60 or less than 6 CGPA in my 10th, 12th or education or in the graduation or post graduation, we are not having any CGPA criteria or percentage criteria right from your 10th, 12th or any other graduation or post graduation. In terms of education, as I mentioned, BE, BTEC, uh, MTEC, MCA and MSC, CS and IT branches are eligible. In terms of year gap, year gap, as I mentioned, only maximum of one year gap is is fine. Beyond one year, it will make you ineligible, not eligible for the course for this assessments. This time we are offering a CTC of 4.5 only. There were some previous assessments where we mentioned 6.5 also, but that role is not eligible, uh, not applicable here. We are only offering a CTC of 4.5 associate software engineer at 4.5. That is the only one role that we are offering here. Uh, there is a query coming that how much time does it take for document verification? Generally, document verification happens in around a week's time, weeks or eight days of time. So as soon as you are shortlisted and you receive any information from our side that you have cleared all your assessments and you have been shortlisted, you will receive further links to upload or submit your documents and it will take us at least a week or time weeks time to verify those documents. There is a query on uh, 22 candidates for 22 pass out candidates. We would have a separate assessments which are coming up in next month onwards. So you have to wait till that time. But as of now, this is for only 2020 and 2021 pass outs. Uh, there's a further query on uh, assessment rounds and uh, what are the elimination rounds? And as I mentioned, uh, our cognitive and technical is a, a elimination round then coding is an elimination round communication assessment is a mandatory round but non-elimination round and then we have virtual interviews uh, i would there's again a query on mock assessments and related to macbook i would request and advise do not use MacBook for any of our assessments or even for mock assessments. Uh, we are highly advised to give it on Android. There's also a query which is coming up on uh, on bond. For example, we know there is no bond with us. We do not ask any candidate to serve a bond with us. And as I mentioned in one of the slides that the expected joining date if you submit all the documents on time would be 24th of March 2022.
Uh, there is a query by uh, a candidate who says that is mock assessment a lamination or no? It is not mock assessment. Is just to keep you prepared your system prepared for what kind of assessment is coming. Make ensure that you are your system is ready. Mock assessment is just for practice. So as I mentioned, there is a question on cognitive and coding. So cognitive is of 90 minutes, which is of cognitive plus technical 90 minutes. Once you clear it, candidates who will clear will receive a coding link within 10 to 15 minutes. And then the coding ha happens for 45 minutes. So uh, cognitive and technical is 90 minutes. If you clear it, Within 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes, you'll receive a coding assessment link. And then again, once you'll start your coding round, it will be of further 45 minutes. Uh, currently, we are running. Uh, we are all working from our houses in the current scenario as COVID has again surged throughout India. So we are working from our offices. Uh, sorry, from our uh, from our home. Work from home is on right now, and uh, there is no fixed uh, timelines for now when we will be returning to office. So work from office for now is is not possible. We are all working from home and we are ensuring that we are working from our own safety and safety or of our family members also. So uh, there is a question that what all sections would be conducted on the same day. As I mentioned, for example, you are appearing in a morning slot of a cognitive and technical by 10 a.m. slot. So obviously you'll finish it by in 90 minutes. And once you clear your if you clear your cognitive technical, you will receive a coding assessment link within 10 minutes. So generally the the cognitive and technical that is combined and then the coding happens within a period of three hours entirely. If you clear cognitive technical, you move to coding. So on on a, on a, on a broad side, it is close to three hours. You'll finish all the assessments. That is cognitive technical plus coding. And once you submit your coding and if you clear it, then it takes us two days to come back to you to release the communication assessment. There's a question on contract period. Uh, there's no contract period with us. We do not ask the candidates to sign a contract with us. So uh, all the eligible candidates will start receiving information about timelines shortly. So to all the eligible candidates, the mock assessment, which is a practice assessment link, will start going out from today evening onwards. You'll have at least two days to give it maybe on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And from Monday, Tuesday onwards, we will start releasing the live assessment links or the links where you can choose your uh, your date and time for live assessment of cognitive and technical. So your cognitive and technical are starting from 9th February and it will go up to 13th. So you will have a time of date of 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th or 13th. Any one day you can pick and each of these days will have three slots, 10 a.m. slot, 2 p.m. slot and 7 p.m. slot based on your uh, eligible based on your suitability and what time you'll be eligible. You can pick any of the slots in any of any one slot on any of the days. This just one slot you have to pick. And uh, once you clear your cognitive and coding, then subsequently you will receive information on your communication assessment. Also, the mail will have all the details by when what are when the communication timelines are open by when you have to finish the communication timelines and once you submit your communication assessment again you will receive an information on your interviews so you will be invited on the interviews the mail will have all the details in terms of dates which date your interviews are meant or will be scheduled i think it the interviews are currently scheduled on 17th and 18th of february so uh, it could be a plus minus one here 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 and there but 17th and 18th February is the tentative date where we have scheduled our virtual interviews. 
there's again a question which is coming back on uh, eligible courses. So as I, as I mentioned uh, in one of the uh, presentations or in, in one of the slides also that uh, all the branches of BTEC, uh, all the branches of MTEC, uh, MCA and MSc candidates, but in MSc only two branches. Only MSc CS, which is computer science and MSc IT information technology. Only these branches are uh, eligible to appear for these assessments and only batches which are of 2020 and 2021 pass outs. We are offering one role which is associate software engineer and which is of uh, CTC of 4.5 lakhs this time. Yes, guys, uh, feel free to ask any questions, any queries you have. Please type into your chat box. We'll try to answer maximum of your queries. So there's a query what will happen after the communication round. So once you will submit your communication round, then uh, you will be invited for your virtual interviews or face to face or not face to face, but basically a one on one interviews. And these interviews are generally non technical interviews because we have already assessed you in your cognitive and technical part. So in general, these interviews, virtual interviews are are non technical in nature, but uh, you will receive an information on your email registered email on which date and when you are invited for your uh, virtual interviews. So that interviews will happen where one panel will assess you based on your uh, based on your competencies, ba based on your uh, behavioral skills, based on your communication uh, skills, also based on interpersonal skills. But those information will you you will receive all the information on your email IDs. Attending mock, there is a query that whether uh, attending mock is a mandatory or not. It is it is highly advisable that you appear in the mock assessment. This will really help you out in understanding that what kind what kind of system requirements do does it require for appearing for our live assessments and it will keep your system ready if any upgrades would be required or some last minute to avoid any last minute last minute glitches, it would be highly advisable to please appear on or give our mock assessment, which is which will be sent out from today evening onwards. Uh, again, a question has come up for a CTC that we are offering this time. So again, I'm saying this this for this assessment, this is scheduled next week onwards for which we are doing the open house right now. Only 4.5, only 4.5 LPA CTC is on the offer. There is no CTC of, of 6.5 which is on the offer. No 6.5 is on the offer. Only 4.5 CTC is on the offer. So again, uh, there's a question on year pass outs and backlogs. Uh, as I'm, uh, I would like to say that uh, if you are a 2020 and 2021 batch pass out, you would have already cleared your examinations and you have already would you would have already received your uh, PDCs also. So if you have cleared your uh, examinations within four years, or or the designated time frame of your course you are eligible to apply you should not be carrying any current backlogs obviously if you are a 2020 and 2021 pass outs your backlogs would be cleared by now all backlogs would be clear and you would have passed in your designated time frame only
Um, there's a query on the timelines and time frame. Uh, guys, we will ensure and we'll try our level best that we will adhere to these timelines which was mentioned in one of the slides. So because we have kept our uh, joining date, date of joining for new joiners for as a 24th March. So we we'll like to keep our timelines strictly to the dates that we have mentioned and uh, ensuring that we close, we give out the results as soon as we finish our interviews on 18th or 19th of February. We give out your results by around 20th or 21st or 22nd of February so that giving you two, three days, four days time to submit your documents. Let, let us also verify those documents and then ensuring that your onboarding happens by 24th of March. Uh, as a part of your system configuration, there's a query on Windows I, uh, operating system. I, it's highly advisable that you operate on Windows 8 or 10 or above. That would be the program would be able to run on Windows 8, 10 or above. A uh, mock link you have to appear only once that's th that we'll be releasing today evening onwards to all the eligible candidates. And once you receive your mock link, try to appear for the mock link. You must appear for the mock link and that will help you in getting prepared for the system. Your pre system prepared for the actual assessments. Uh, 